Hi, I am Michelle from Learn Interior Affairs and I've been in this industry for three years and today I'll be sharing with you more about studying interior design as choosing it as your career path. I studied in La Salle with a diploma in interior design. It was a three years program and we learned more than just uh, architects, lighting and furniture. We also explored topics on human behaviour and their emotional connections through spaces. My favourite part of the programme was finishing the programme. <laughs> just kidding. It was completing my final year project and then seeing the vision turn into a reality for the first time. During my internship, I was attached to Learn Interior Affairs. After my internship, COVID hits and regardless of that, Learn Interior Affairs still offered me a full-time position and continue to keep all their existing staff really shows a dedication and commitment to their designers. For aspiring interior designers, these are some tips I have to do well in this industry. For number one, step out of your comfort zone. Interior design is more than just sketching and drawing. This is a job that constantly forces you to think out of the box and embrace your new ideas and innovations. You have to push your boundaries, explore new ideas, and find unique solutions that is personalized to a homeowner's lifestyle. Number two, time management and efficiency. Back in school, I thought that deadlines were ridiculously stressful, but after working in an interior design firm, I understand why time management and efficiency was so heavily emphasised. As an interior designer, we are constantly producing new ideas while managing projects. Hence, managing your time well and being efficient is critical for the fast-paced nature of this industry. Number three, learn how to sell. The selling is as important as designing. If you can design well, but you don't know how to sell or market yourself in your designs, your talent might remain undiscovered. And in this industry, it's very competitive. Having good design skills can only get you so far. Hence, it is very important to learn how to convey the value of your work to an audience. Number four, gratitude. Lastly, always remember the homeowners and clients that entrusted you and their houses. Um, being grateful is important to build strong, lasting relationships with your clients. This is also a key to growing and securing more clients through referrals. We've come to an end of the video. Being an interior designer is more than just designing a beautiful spaces. If you're interested in being an interior designer, do reach out to us, Learn Interior Affairs. And whether you're already a designer or just beginning your design journey, we're here to collaborate and inspire. Thanks! <laughs>